Hello, my name is Sudo. Welcome back to Subnautica, uh, the original revisited. So, I messed around with my encoding settings, and I know the last episode, some of the black parts looked a little pixelated, because I went through and checked, and they did. So I went through, and now every minute I spend recording is six gigabytes. It is crazy big. This is Thank you, Robot. From the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by this Seamoth Bay on the way down. Dead. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Snake thing. Snake thing? Grim looking snake thing. That can't be a reaper, can it? Oh, I don't like when it doesn't load in right. Oh, Jesus, reef back. Oh. Dude, you scared the bejesus out of me. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Abandon PDA. What else you got in here? Y'all got anything cool? No? Of course. 30 seconds. Yes! I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Dude, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. That one. Don't you dare die on me. Don't you dare die on me. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Okay. Okay, small cave network. So we go over here. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Jellyfish? Decreased. Yes. J Jelly shroom biome. Oh, hello. Um, we can't explore this right now, but we have one part of the sea moth. Which I think we need two more. Okay, that was cool. Um, we're gonna go back this way because he said big snake thing, and I'm pretty sure that's a reaper. So we might be a little close to reaper territory. Uh, we didn't see one, so that's good. But we found one sea moth fragment. Oh, man, this game does not like going out of the water. I'm gonna sneak a little peeky around, see if we can't find another uh, another fragment. Just seems a little off that there would only be one. I just, man, I don't like it. Oh. Oh, man, this is getting risky, though. We're in really deep water. I don't like this. But this would be a good spot for more sea. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Is that, is that two, two a two? Ah, I want to go. Okay, no biggie. No biggie. So we're somewhat safe right here. I don't like it. I don't like where we're at, but we definitely, there's definitely another sea, sea moth fragment very close by. So we're gonna go up and get oxygen and hopefully when we go back down again. Wow, I jumped super high. Hopefully we'll be able to find another one. I'm thinking there should be one close, like right there, maybe. No, okay. Um. Everything's cool. We're doing really good for just starting this one out. Let's see. I think I need the laser tool to get into this ship. Passing 100 meters. Oh, shit. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we just gotta be careful because it, it's chill now, but I don't want to be here at night. Seconds. That's something. That might be our last piece. I think that's our last piece. Run back up one more time and get some oxygen. Because we saw two halves, and then that one should be the bottom. Boy, I hope. Having the Seamoth this early. So, I believe everything's doing okay. My CPU seems like it's doing pretty good. Um, scanner room fragment. Okay. Yeah, because this didn't look this didn't look right. Um, wow. Integrating oh. new PDA data. Okay, let's see what's over here. Warning. 
Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Oh, those are freaking things. Will occur within two hours. Cool. Calorie intake recommended. I gotta eat. I gotta munchie. Uh, munchie, munchie. Water. Vital signs All right. We got a. Uh... Oh Jesus. Ah. Uh... Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. Don't you die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oxygen is good for the lungs. We got to get one more fragment. There has to be one floating around here. I'm an idiot. I wa I've been watching I, when, when I edit. Uh, words. When I edit, I've been going through and I'm, I'm looking at all the stuff I miss. I miss so much. I'm such a bad Let's Player. Maybe not. Duh. Alright, let's see if we can find ourselves what we need. Come on. Nope. Can't make it. That is so disorienting. Seriously, that is, oh, it's so bad. All right, we're gonna hop out. Hop back down. Going through the crack, try and see if we can find a sea moth. I'm pretty sure there's, oh shit. I'm pretty sure there's one far down. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to do it again. Where's the, where's the hole? It's over there, okay. So we're gonna do this again, because I don't have enough oxygen. I really need to make an air bladder. Okay, and straight back down. Okay. Roll in, we'll go through here. Okay, from here to here. What is this? There's something scannable. It's just blockers. I don't want lockers. I want my sea moth. Okay, over here. And right here. Water. Okay. Ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Okay. Come on. There has to be more in here. There has to be something else. There has to be something. I'm just not seeing it. Oh, this is how you get stuck. Okay. All right. Everything's okay. Don't freak out. Because we're just going to go back up and through here. There's a PDA here. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. The Degasi. That's a different ship though, right? Okay, I don't think we're gonna find I don't think we're gonna find our last sea moth fragment. Which sucks because I really wanted to start this one off with a uh, sea moth. I'm gonna go back over here. Give this a little a little sneaky, sneaky peeky. See if we can't find another fragment. Quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's Oxygen. drive core. The reactor uh -oh. will reach a supercritical state in T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hi, Aurora. Cool. I'm kind of. I'm just whelmed. All right. New blueprint acquired. Great. I can make a radiation suit. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Great. God, I'm just sucking up radiation while that's going on. Okay, dude. There has to be a sea moth fragment. There has to be one more. This dude said they were freaking. Okay, so, let's see. This is the Degasi, though. This is a different ship. I'm gonna venture out just a wee, wee bit out. See what we can find. What is this? Laser engraver. Boop, boop. Dude, I swear, I keep feeling something. Is it my phone? What phone? No, it's not. I'm just going insane. So, I'm gonna, I've been grinding, I don't know. Maybe like 10 minutes trying to find this stupid, stupid thing. 
I legitimately don't know where it is. Um. Hmm. I don't like how Oxygen deep I am. Decreased. 100 meters, but I feel like below zero, I didn't get that far in. And below zero is a lot. I don't like this. 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 30 seconds. Freaking laser boy. Get out of here, laser boy. Um. So reef backs, I'm usually pretty safe around, which is good. The only things you have to worry about around them are sand sharks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. somebody is very, very deep. Um, you only have to really worry about sand sharks and stalkers, but stalkers usually stick to the creep vine, the, the creep vine area. We're going to go back again. I'm 600 meters away. I am far. Um, so we're going to go back again and then see... What this next, I think this next beacon should get us closer to the last Seamoth fragment. Um, then we'll go see the Commander Keen and see what he has to say. I mean, he's dead, I know. Every, all, everyone's dead in this game, which is kind of a bummer. I wish you could get at least one friend. All I have is Steven to keep me company. Do I have him with me? No, he's, he's in, the, in storage until I can get an aquarium. I think this next one's probably going to be either Habitat Builder. I think it's going to be Seamoth because... The sea moth is really critical in in the early early game because once you once you get the sea moth, you're pretty much set. Sea glide is your your um, early sort of sea moth. The sea moth will at least protect you from reapers from just destroying you. Um, God, I'm not excited to see reapers again. Reapers are worse than the the man. I I love how it just freezes up. Um, Reapers are way worse. This is Avery Quinn of Trading oh, Ship Avery Sunbeam. Quinn. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. It exploded. It exploded. Okay. That's this way is complete death. This way is also death. So we're gonna go. I guess we'll go towards this guy. I just need my sea moth, man. Come on. I need my moth boy. I don't like going this deep. I think... Okay. Three-year-old Subnautica information I have stored in my brain. Tell me where to go. Oh, hello. Oh, oh game. Oh game. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Don't do that. Because when you, when you load like this, all of a sudden then there's big things around me and I freak out. Don't make me freak out. Don't make me do it. Shit. I need. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, so we're gonna need the laser cutter. So I'm gonna need to find diamonds, which diamonds are only deep. Let's see, laser cutter is over here. Diamond. Oh, I should probably save. I don't think I've saved yet. <laughs> okay, so we gotta find diamonds. So it's probably at Y12. You know, when you mine them. Ah, I don't like how it's loading. I think because I have Subnautica stored on the same drive I'm recording to, it might be kind of slowing things down just a little bit. Um, this, yeah, this door we can't get into. There is another way in. Yeah. Suck it, loser. That. Ooh. Something very important. It's not very important at all. Okay, we crack that door open when I get back in here. I'm just gonna check for anything cool. No, okay. So. We're gonna head back up. Then we can crack the door open. Most of these spots have different ways to get in, so you don't necessarily need certain things to get in. We're gonna go ahead. Uh oh. 
get oxygen first, then we're gonna take a little sip. A little sippy sip. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, coffee dehydrates you, so make sure you mix coffee and water. Don't mix them together, but drink coffee and water. Now I'm out of coffee, and I'm gonna start to get grumpy. Alright. Oh, shit. Look at that. I'm already messing up. And back down. I think this should be our last Seamoth fragment. Should be. Emphasis on the should, because I have no idea. Um, um, this way. Yeah, we got time. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay, wow, that was a waste of time. There's nothing. 30 seconds. I gotta cut through all the doors anyway? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Do I... Okay, so I don't have the Seamoth fragments I need. Do I want to go and try, or do I want to just kind of mess around until we can find our... Until it gives us another beacon, because the beacons will get us... Usually beacons are the items that you need. I'm gonna look... Have a little look-see. Can't see if we can find a piece. Oh, come on. Oh... No, maybe. Bioreactor, damn it. That's actually a good thing though. Once you build your habitat, it's kind of vital to have a bioreactor and it helps keep your inventories unclogged. I need diamonds, oh. No, it's freaking bioreactor. Eh. 30 seconds. Stinky. Gross. Okay, so, oh, there's another message. There we go, see, that's perfect timing. So we'll hop in here. See what we got. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you. Yeah. I, I didn't know. Everybody did. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Sunbeam, don't do that. What Sunbeam. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Yeah, it's gonna go boom boom. Is that what I need? Y'all got what I need? Ooh. 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 100 meters. Oxygen Freaking bioreactor. Benny machine? Sick! Sick! All right. Oh boy, more bioreactor? Great. No, bad sand shark. Bad boy. Bad boy. We're gonna get a spanking. Okay, we almost have found it. We're very, very close. Very close. Okay. Come on. Show me. Sea moth fragment. That's all I care about. I care about nothing else. Friends, family? No, don't even care. No munch. No munch. Bad. Bad boy. Bad boy. Ah, oh, you're worse than a caco demon. Okay. Come on. Come on. Show me my moth boy. Where is it? Where is it? Over there? Huh? Eh? Uh -huh. 30 seconds. If you're bioreactor. <sighs> Why? Why? Why can't you be Seamoth? Hmm? Oh, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> not die. I've not died. I've not died yet. Oh. I might have spoke too soon. <laughs> Attaboy. There we go. Yeah, I know. So I'll be okay. Just grow gills. Come on, man. <sighs> Come on. Oh, maybe through here. I'm thinking it's down in through here. No. No. Ouchie. Ouchie. Oh. 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 Whoa. I 
died! <laughs> well, I'm gonna end that here. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember be awesome. And I'm gonna go cry. <laughs>